let's talk about medical kits on expeditions. It's always such a fascinating point of discussion on our courses because there is no one size fits all. You need to customize your kit according to the environment that you're in, the activities, the makeup of the group, so that you have the kit that, that meets the, the specific needs. I'm just gonna show you an example of one medical kit. This is just what I'm using for this particular environment. So it's a tropical environment looking after a bunch of reality TV show contestants. So this is what we've got. So it's all, it's quite heavy. I wouldn't wanna trek with this, but luckily most of our transportation is by vehicle. Uh, it's all in a sealed Peli case. So it's waterproof because we're doing a lot of water stuff as well. Let's have a look inside. We've got wound care over here. I've got some diagnostic stuff over there uh, and drugs in here. So for wound care, I've just got some things like Hyperfix there, different kind of taping solutions, a little bit of cohesive bandage. That's always really useful for, for sprains and things. Uh, I've got some, some gloves there. I've got various different things to irrigate and clean wounds, just some regular water. Uh, I've got a bit of iodine. What have we got here? Some hydrogen peroxide, really good for reef cuts. So that's that part of wound care there. And then over here, just got some non-sterile gauze, really useful for mopping wounds up uh, and cleaning uh, generally. Then in terms of dressings, you can never be without the humble Band-Aid or plaster, get through a lot of those. And we've also got some like slightly larger dressings. These are primer pores, so we, these are in different sizes. But they're just big band-aids essentially, and they're really good. Uh, excellent, so that's wound care. In this little pocket here, I've got some sanitary products, so some sanitary towels and some tampons. Uh, and if we move up here, this is all the IV stuff. So I've got a kind of cannulation kit all ready to go. So that's a, a tourniquet and a cannula and tegaderm and then uh, gauze in there. Just, you know, quick access. In here's more IV stuff. So I've got some needles, uh, different size syringes. That's that. This is my suturing stuff. So I've got some, some lignocaine vials and different suture materials. And then my actual suture pack. This is really just because it's a bit too big to fit down there is stored up here. So that is all my suture stuff. A blue absorbable thingy there. I've got some Steri strips and I've got bigger dressings that don't fit in here, down in here. And I've got a bit of Jelinet, some melanin, other, other kinds of dressings up there. Moving down, I've got loads of electrolyte sachets, always good in a hot environment. A bit more of kind of emergency traumary type stuff up here. So I've got a emergency uh, hemostatic dressing. That's a triangular bandage. I've got a SAM splint. They're very, very useful. That tucks in there nicely. And a foil blanket. So that's this part of the kit. And move over to this side. Here I've got mostly drugs. I've got various different laxatives. That's Metamucil. I've got some Bicycodil. I've got some loperamide, diarrhea is obviously a big issue out here. Got a Microlax enema in case anyone gets really bunged up. So I've also got a selection of commonly used antibiotics. Now you can't take everything you might need, always compromise involved, but I think I've got most of my bases covered here. I've got some doxycycline there, some amoxicillin, that's good for kind of chest infections. Flucoxacillin is good for skin and soft tissue infections. Uh, I've got a bit of azithromycin, great for bacterial dysentery. Got some nitrofuranto in there, great for UTIs. And then the other main class of drugs is analgesics. So simple oral analgesia, ibuprofen, paracetamol. Got plenty of full, I've got a plentiful supply of that. And then something a little bit stronger, I've also got some cocodamol or panadine fort. That's really handy too, and that all lives in there. Now, this section is diagnostics. And in here, I've got my stethoscope and BP cuff. I have a thermometer, otoscope and ophthalmoscope, little, little small ones, SATS probe, uh, some tongue depressors. Then I've got some spare earpieces for the otoscope and the thermometer. 
I've got some urine dipsticks. And just to save space, I've been the canister. I've taken the photo of the, the color chart that goes on my phone so I can, I can just keep those in there. And then some eye stuff. Got some cotton buds to avert the eyelid, a bit of tetracaine and some fluorescine if I need to examine uh, an eye. And this here is a little glucometer to check glucose. The emergency bag that I've got is separate to this. So if you need to give someone oxygen or uh, IV drugs, that is a separate kit. And I'll do a separate walkthrough of that. But I've got a couple of emergency things in here. I've got some oral glucose gel. I've got a Ventolin inhaler. I have some GTN spray. You never know when you might need that. And some aspirin in case of suspected myocardial infarction. I've also got adrenaline. This is just something you want to have to hand in case of anaphylaxis. And I've got this in vial form because it's just easier to pack. It's a lot more space efficient than the auto injectors and the expiry dates are longer. I've got a few other oversized medicines in this, in this compartment as well. So I've got some uh, Otodex, that's quite good for a Titus Externa. I've got some Chloramphenicol for eye infections, some Cipro is an alternative. Fungal infections out here are pretty rife, so I've got lots of antifungals, including foot powder and myconazole cream. Oh, and then I've also got, tucked away in here, is just some methoxyfluorine, some Penthrox, just in case. Those all kind of go in there. And then uh, at the side here, I've just got some scissors. It's always very useful. I've got some, I've got a Sharpie. That is so helpful for uh, drug dispensing. I've got some little bags. So when I give out drugs, I can write on the, the name and the dosing, etc. with that. And then this is a very nifty little sharps box. And he lives in there. Uh, and that's it really. I mean, I wouldn't say it was perfect. I personally prefer a more modular type system with everything in separate bags that you can pull out uh, and you can just get the bit you need. But in terms of space efficiency, this is a pretty good setup. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite robust uh, and portable. There you go, that is my primary care medical kit. Was there anything missing? Is there anything in there you think shouldn't be in there? If so, we'd love to hear your thoughts.